हेलो गाइस माय नेम इज विनीत अरोरा एंड यू आर वाचिंग एज योर डेवलप सीरीज इन दिस सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द ब्रांच पॉलिसीज एंड ब्रांच वैलिडेशन वी विल सी दैट व्हाट एग्जैक्टली द ब्रांच पॉलिसीज एंड व्हाट एग्जैक्टली द ब्रांच वैलिडेशन वी विल अप्लाई दैम इन रियल टाइम राइट सो लेट्स मूव टू अजर डेवलप्स before starting let me just request you if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and if you like this video please like thank you okay let's move so as of now i am in the summary section what i will do i will go to the repositories and i will click on branches so here i have only one branch that is main branch and uh, you have already seen my previous video that i have how i have created this branch so we are talking about the branch policies right so what we will do here we have this triple dot you will click on it and you will find this branch policies here if you will click here so you will get all these detail related to the branch policies and branch validations right so under the branch policies if you will see the first thing is require a minimum number of viewer before starting let me just tell you uh, let me tell you about this note please note this that what is stated here if any required policy is enabled the branch cannot be deleted and changes must be made via pull request so what does it mean it means that if we are looking to delete this branch we will not be able to and if we are looking to do any changes in any file then we will not be able to do it directly we will have to raise a pull request pull request means what we will do we will create a branch from the main branch and then we will work upon that branch and once we will done this we will commit the changes into that branch that feature branch and then we will raise a pr to get it merged to the main branch right if it is not clear i will demonstrate you how okay uh the next the term the first policies that we are getting here this is about the require a minimum number of reviewers so whenever we will create a pr so what will happen that pr will be required to approve so this is talking about that that how many number of viewer you are looking to have right let's enable this now it is asking that minimum number of viewer we can say 1 2 3 it's up to our wish right and then we want that allow requester to approve their own changes what does it mean it means for example i have started to work upon this i have created a branch from the main branch uh, let's say the feature branch i have created from the main branch and then after creating the feature branch i will raise a pr and then if i will check box if i will mark this check box right as a checked then i will be able to approve my pr and that will be counted as a one reviewer right so in that case i will be need of one more reviewer okay so let's start uh ding 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 what i will do i will go to the branches once again so we have seen that we have applied the policies right uh let me show you one thing let me go here inside the main branch what i will do let me edit this file right uh this is the readme file uh update for demo right now let me commit it uh update readme file i have updated the comments let me commit it commit so see we are getting a message that pushes to this branch are not permitted you must use a pr to update this branch okay so how we will do that we will go to the branches once again let me tell it leave now i will create a branch from the main branch uh i'll click on the new branch the new branch let's say the feature branch right and i will click on the create so now it has created the branch from the main branch right uh now what i will do i will work upon this branch that is a feature branch uh what i will do now i will go to this readme file and will update this let me up 
write something here update from teacher branch let me write 1.0 this is just for demonstration like how many times i am updating it let me commit it commit done okay so now earlier we were getting a message there when we were updating directly to the main branch but now we are in feature branch and we are able to commit this now whatever we will do we will create a pr so by default if I, I will update anything it will show me a message that create a pr so i can create a pr it is a pull request from here itself or what i can do i can also create a pr from here as well right so let me create a pr from here uh, so it is stating that you updated the feature just now create a PR so let's create a PR so what we are doing we are creating a PR from feature branch to main branch we can also get from these uh, more information from these steps like files and commits if I will click on the files I will be able to know that what exactly the changes basically what are the files which we have changed so this is the file and it is showing us this place plus icon right so these are the two lines that we have added if i will go to the commit section i will be able to know that how many commits i have done so this is the commit that i have done okay so let's go to the overview and uh, yeah just create it so i have created the pr but the thing is if you will see here that it is stating that at least two reviewer must approve i will not be able to approve this pr or merge this pr until this is not getting approved by two reviewers okay here i have not uh, marked this as a checkbox allow request to approve the round changes right now i am in need of two reviewers so two reviewers means how exactly that means is uh, i need to add two reviewers here right so what i will do i will go to the reviewers right and required person how many person i am looking to have so here i will be need to have two required persons two required users who will review my pr but for that we will be in need of users who will be added to our organization right okay okay so to add the reviewers what we will do we will click on this add button right and uh, yes we can have these options required reviewers and optional reviewers uh, but to add that reviewer that user should be in our organization and that user should have the rights to be worked on this particular project right so i will just i'm just demoing you how exactly we can demo this user i'm not going in deep so just let me tell you that how exactly we can add the users what we will do we will go to the organizations right uh organization settings and under that we have the section of users and under that what we can do we can add the users from here right and from here we can add users right recently i have added a one one user uh that's is eventechnoidiahow.com right so uh for example let me add test at the rate demo.com right and there once i will add it i will have the options to add it as a access level and to the project which project i am going to assign to this particular user right for example let me add this and once added i will have the options to that what exactly is the role or you are going to give it so i am going to give the contributor role so in this way i can manage it, the users once i will add the user the user will get a link in his email id to uh to get that activated then user will log in and he will get the details he will get the project to be worked upon right uh okay so let me go back and let me add users in my pr so what i will do as updated i have created one more user that says eventechnoidyahoo.com and this user is with eventechnoidgmail.com from which i am logged in so let me add eventechno at yahoo.com okay so i have assigned this user now 
what I, now uh, the event techno user this user the another user who is a reviewer he will get a basically mail that someone has added you in the PR to be approved then he will be able to approve this okay now let me show you how exactly that particular user will approve it now I am going to the login of now I am going to the login of eventechno.com the another user who will review this PR okay so I am here and here I am basically logged in with this particular user let me go to the PR okay so if you will see it you will get that assigned to me how many PRs have been assigned to me as a reviewer to approve right so here if you will see that assigned to me this is the PR that has been raised by this particular user right and here okay, let me just go inside it so uh, what I will do I will approve it right so done approved okay now uh, it is stating that at least two reviewers beside author must approve besides author right so now I will be in need of one more user who will actually approve it because this was the author getting so but instead of adding one more user what I am demoing you to showcase this how exactly the flow will work so let me go back here and let me go to the branches and let me update the policies right and what I will do, I will update this test, allow request to approve the own changes, right? Now this has been saved. Now what I will do, I will go to the PR and then PR I will go once again. And here, if you will see that two reviewers approved, right? Two reviewers have been approved. One is by myself and one is by another user. So if you will see that earlier, I was getting an option of autocomplete, right? Here, set autocomplete. It was not allowing me to complete. Now it has, I have got this button to complete it. Let me complete it. Okay, I have clicked on it. Now it is allowing me to complete merge. So let me click here. Okay, so it is merging, it is showing us the message. Okay, so now this has been merged and it is saying that uh, this particular user has completed the PR just now. Now let me show you that changes are there or not, right? Let me go to the branches version again, right? And if you will see that particular branch has been deleted by default. Now uh, let me go to the main branch and under that main branch, let me go to the readme. And here we have the changes, right? Okay, now uh, let's check the another branch policy. Let me go to the branches. Let me go to the branch policies. And here the ding 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 ding. Okay, let me update about this checked for linked work item. Here, what exactly this means is whenever I am raising a PR, right? Then it is asked me to add a linked work item. Without that, I will not be able to complete this. So this is one of the again policies. Work item means the tickets or the uh, basically if you will go here, uh, if you will go here to the board the backlogs so here we have created basically uh let me go to the backlogs so here if you will see the branch policies here we have the work item right work item means epic you are looking to have right or the feature that you are looking to have this talking about that so at least one work item should be linked with that and how we can link that uh if you will go to the pr Let me go to the PR. Uh, uh, uh. Where is that section? Ding, 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 ding. Okay, let me go back here and here under the repositories under the PR, right? Uh, so there's no other branch. Let me just show you once again what I will do. I will go to the branches. I will create a one more branch from the feature branch, then from the main branch, and let me talk as a feature two branch, right? Here we can add the work items. Right? And that will be mandatory to approve it. Let me show you if I have checked it here or not. Okay, let me just update that thing. Uh, I'll go to the branches once again. Right? 
under the branches i will go here once again as the branch policies and uh, yes i have not marked as on so now done so it is showing me that it is optional or required so block pull request from being completed unless they have at least one link bug item so in a similar way we'll need to do this right uh, okay let me create this i have created a feature branch let me update anything right and update from feature to branch and let me adjust update version for showcasting okay now let me commit it update read me to commit now this is done now let me create a pr i can create a pr from here as well i will click on it and i will have the option you will see that main uh, feature branch is going into the main branch and okay now let me create it so it has been created so now you can see it is asking me that work item must be linked without that i will not be able to do to approve it to merge it right i will be able to approve but i will not be able to merge this so what i will do i will click here work item and i will look for any work item that i have recently created right uh, i have already basically in my previous session i have shown you that how can uh, how can we create the work items right so uh, let me show you once again what i will do i will go to the board section and here we have the work items if you will see the work items here and uh, let me just add the id uh, this is the uh, 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 let i am just giving any as of now as a work, work item right so work id is 25 let me add work item let me do it so whatever i will type it will start to fetch right related to that particular id or let me write create project i can write so it will not find it. it is not finding it right uh project it is not finding right if i will add the id so it will work upon the ids right so the task 28 it is let me add that this so, so i have assigned to this now if you will see that particular error has been removed work item must be linked so that has gone in this way we can proceed right so then we have the check for comment resolution. So what will happen like if I have raised a PR and the approver is looking to have uh, some comments, right? And in that case, if we have a single comment and that we must be approved, right? That must be resolved. Then until that, I will not be able to approve this PR in a similar way. Okay. And here we have the option of limit merge type, limit merge type in the sense like if I will merge it. So I will have the merge type option, merge, right no fast forwarding squash commit rebase and forward so from here i can show i can update that which exactly merge type i am looking to have i will just uncheck that and only those options will come here okay in the merge type so this was about the branch policies uh the next session is about branch validations so this says here as it coming here branch validation validate code by pre-merging and building pr changes right so uh, to avoid this video to getting too long what i will do i will create uh, one more session one more uh, video just after this okay and to uh, know about the build validation please follow that okay uh, so let's let's uh, close this session okay and meet our next session thank you guys have a good day bye bye